Hey, what's up everybody? This is Muth24, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the Master Grade God Gundam. Uh, as I showed in the package delivery video, get a cool shot here of the God Gundam on the front, and then Domonkashu underneath. On the side, we have a look at the uh, fighting action poses that he can pull off, and you got a kick there with him on one foot, which uh, the Shining Gundam could do. You know, he could manage to stand on one foot and hold that pose, no problem. So hopefully the guy Gundam can pull that off as well. You got a front shot and a back shot. A look at the action frame, which is a very early form of the inner frame that most of the Master Grades use nowadays. Uh, not quite as complex as what we have now, but it's still pretty cool for its time. You got the little crystal on the chest there, the beam sword, the machine cannons on the shoulders, and then the core lander. And you do get one of those like rubbery plastic figures of Domonkashu. Uh, there was one that came with the Shining Gundam that had him in his uh, suit that he wears inside the uh, Gundam, and then this one is his, his street clothes. Uh, there's a few Master Grades that come with those figures. I know, like, the, uh, I think the, um, some of the 8th MS team kits come with them, too, but I don't know if there's that many that still do that anymore. Um, but I know there's not that do it anymore, but there, I know that there were some back in the day, that, but I don't remember how many exactly. Anyways, on the top here, same shot as you have on the front of the box, just scaled down. Opening the box up to take a look at the contents, we do have one of these classic cardboard inserts with the God Gunnam on the front. I really love the way that the G Gunnam ones look. Um, just the, the colors and the, the background there is pretty sweet. Uh, looks a little bit more appealing than the standard white ones. So on the first bag here we have the, I think this is the A plate. Yep, it's the A plate. And looks like we have some of the leg armor there. We have uh, the burning finger hands, we have the head, and then we have some of the yellow for like the double V-fin there, and for the little um, uh, claw pieces that go over the gauntlets, and then a lot of the black stickers that will go on the uh, finer details of lining the stuff, and then the one small tree of polycaps. It's actually a lot fewer polycaps than I expected. Um, and then we got the cockpit for the core lander there. Next tree, we have some more leg pieces. Uh, we're going to have some of those pieces for the back on the core lander. Um, we're going to have some ankle armor. Looks like maybe the tops of the feet there. Yep, that looks like maybe some wrist armor there as well. Next tree is... Oh, we got two trees there. Well, here's the one of uh, Domo and Kashu, uh, this little rubber figure form. And he does come with a stand, which is nice uh, to display him on there. So it'll hold his balance a little bit better, hopefully. And then you do have a few screws on this kit. Some of the older Master Grades have screws. And I don't know of any newer ones that do. Um, I found that with the Shining Gun, they worked pretty well. So hopefully that'll be just easy enough to do with this one, too. Here we have a uh, rubbery plastic double V-fin, which is probably the one I'll use. I used it on the uh, Shining Gundam, and that turned out pretty well. Uh, or sorry, maybe it wasn't the Shining Gun. It was the... Uh, yeah, it was the Zeta gun, I'm sorry, uh, that I used it on. And I just figured with it being a little bit more thin of a uh, shape to the beef in there, it might be better just so it doesn't break. I don't plan on dropping these things necessarily, but, you know, just be careful with it. Um, there's some great parts for the inner frames. Looks like the legs up there. And then some thrusters here. Uh, next tree, we have the clear green parts for the uh, beam sabers. And then we have the skirt armor, pieces for the core lander, the uh, gauntlets for the arms there, uh, chest pieces, uh, red on the other side for the shoulders, the torso, the feet. And then the last tree, I believe. Yes. Yep, the last tree where it's all gray parts. Uh, you have some of these rubber gray parts here for the hands and the bottom of the feet. And it's kind of a different approach for a Master Grade to have those um, for, you know, key components of the kit. But I found they actually worked pretty well on the uh, Master Grade Shining Gun. It's, it's just kind of weird, but I think it works well. They've got the little sticker for the crystal on the chest. And then all the rest of this is inner frame parts, waist joints, leg joints, arm joints, so on and so forth. And finally, we have the instruction manual. And... Even though I'm not usually a fan of these older manual styles, I prefer the new ones where they got a picture of the kit on the front. I think this one's pretty cool with the flames along the side and the King of Hearts uh, symbol up there and then the outline of the God Gundam in like a silhouette there. 
I uh, usually just have like the head of the Gundam, but this one's pretty cool. So opening up to the first pages, front and back shots of the God Gundam, list of all the runners and parts. Next page we have the uh, building of the kit, starting with the arms, interestingly enough. There's some specs about the mobile suit and uh, the history of the fighting tournament. And then we have the fights on, except for this one says, Gundam fight, ready, go! Much like in the show. So we have the uh, a couple points from the series there, some cool shots of that. There's a bunch of different poses of the kit, pretty much everything from the side of the box, just compressed into one panel. Show off all the different poses you can do. Uh, paint apps if you wanted to do that. Continue building with the legs. More information. Well, there's a lot of information about the mobile suit in here. I'm surprised. I guess it's really not that complex of a master grade, so I guess maybe they figured they could just include some extra uh, pages in there. But anyways, finishing up the legs and the waist. Put the torso all together. Put the Corlander on the back. Completing the mobile suit. And then how to get it into its hyper mode. And where all these stickers and decals will go, which it doesn't look like there's that many on this kit. There weren't a ton with the Shining Gundam, so I, I kind of figured that'd be the case with this one. But then there's a back shot uh, to go along with the front shot on that little cardboard insert. But yeah, that pretty much uh, wraps up this unboxing video for the Master Raid God Gundam. I'm really looking forward to building this kit. should be a lot of fun. And with that, I will see you guys next time.